Dear friends, today we would like to present to you the life and works of a great Jesuit missionary and martyr, St. John de Brito. Brito was born on 1st of March 1647 in Lisbon, Portugal. His parents belonged to the Portuguese aristocracy. He would have lived his life in the court if he had not fallen seriously ill. His mother, who was very devoted to St. Francis Xavier, prayed to the saint for the healing of a son in exchange for healing. His mother vowed to make him wear for a whole year the priestly dress worn by the Jesuits. Young John obeyed his mother and wore the tunic while attending court. His companions and other youngsters would laugh at him but he endured every insult and remained exemplary in his behavior. At the age of 16, he entered the novitiate of the Society of Jesus as a devotee of St. Francis Xavier. He desired to be a missionary and wanted to travel to the East like his patron despite the opposition from his family and the court. In 1673, after his priestly ordination, he was finally destined to serve the missions of India when he arrived in Goa. John visited the tomb of St. Francis Xavier and confirmed his vow to work for the conversion of the Indian inhabitants. He studied the local languages with great interest. When his superiors asked him to become a professor of theology, he refused because his heart was burning with zeal to preach Christ to the people who had never heard of him. Having learned that no missionary had reached the kingdom of Marava, east of Madura, he wanted to go there personally and within three months he baptized over 2,000 people spending entire nights confessing and baptizing. To solve the problem of caste, he adopted the customs and dress of the Brahmin caste which gave him access to the noble classes. He labored in the Jesuit province of Madura, preaching, converting, baptizing multitudes at the cost of privations, hardships and persecutions. In 1682, struck by his success and his sanctity, his Jesuit superiors entrusted to him the government of the entire province. With his ascetic life, he enjoyed the privilege of dealing with all social conditions, even living with the pariahs, members of the low caste. The powerful locals became his enemies because of his missionary action and he was arrested. He was also tortured but after speaking directly with the king he was freed then. In 1686 John returned to Europe because he was summoned to Rome by the superior general to be appointed as a procurator of the mission. They had a plan to make him a bishop. He refused all those honors because he was only desire was to preach Christ following the example in his patron saint Francis Xavier and win souls for Christ. In 1690, he returned to India preferring not to abandon his people. In 1693, he was again taken prisoner in the kingdom of Marava where he had converted and baptized the prince Thiriyadevam. With his conversion, the prince was forced to abandon all his wives, for he had many wives and could keep only one. The rejected brides were angry and wanted to take revenge. To prevent the churches from being burned down and the Christians' houses being plundered, John de Brito handed himself over to the jailers. 
It was a time when the local kings were fighting with each other for supremacy. The wars created ravages, disorder, pillage and death for the people. Added to this, there were other natural disasters such as famine, pestilence and floods. The inhabitants suffered greatly. John Brito worked day and night dedicating himself to bring aid to the poor Christians and pagans afflicted by violent natural disasters. At times he took charge of thousands of people who migrated because of wars. All the Christians were pursued by bands of robbers paid by the ruling elements to prevent any increase in the influence of the disciples of Christ. Saint John's miracles helped him and God persuaded him from the snares of his many enemies. At his work prospered and the number of Christians were increasing, the Brahmins were alarmed once more and they conjured his death. He was tracked everywhere, but the envoys could not take him some more time. Eventually, they succeeded, and his great enemy, a local ruler, exiled him and orders to imprison and kill him secretly. After having been subjected to harsh torture, he was beheaded on February 4, 1693 at Uriur, Tamil Nadu. As he knelt at the execution block, the Raja's order of death was read aloud. The executioner hesitated, but John said to him, My friend, I have prayed to God. On my part, I have done what I should do. Now do your part. He was declared a saint by Pius XII in 1947. Indeed, Saint John Brito is a bright shining star in the Indian Church though not known by many. With his daring missionary spirit and passion to win souls for Jesus Christ, he labored enduring all hardships and finally even sacrificed his own life. May he pray for a country that needs missionaries like him, particularly today when we are faced with so much opposition and persecution.